Hello, my friends, and welcome to WWE Supercard. My name is McToast, and if this is your first time joining us, welcome. If not, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about PvP. We're going to be talking about stacking momentum points slash PvP points, how to level up in terms of league, as well as which game mode I suggest playing. Uh, to begin, I will talk about momentum. Momentum, I'm sure you know if you're watching this video, uh, momentum is a 5% stat boost to your cards, and you can unlock all 5 momentum slots by getting a crap ton of these ranked points. And the way that you get ranked points is by winning ranked games, PvP games. Um, and so War is a uh, 4 male, 2 female deck. And you get one manager, which applies at the beginning of the game, as well as two support cards. You can only use one of which during the game. Um, it doesn't really matter what cards you have in here, uh, as long as you are familiar with them and you kind of know what their strengths are. So I know that the Usos right here... Also, why don't they tag? That's kind of weird. But um, the Usos right here are strong in speed and charisma. And I know that uh, Brooks Jensen right here is a toughness and uh, power kind of guy. And then you also have my Undertaker, which is also very much power and toughness. So if you know what your cards are uh, strongest in, it'll be easier because you're like, oh, it's a charisma and speed match. I can just throw this Jey Uso card in there because I know he's strong in that. Um, whereas if you throw him out there when it's a toughness match, you'll kind of get bombarded on because he's really weak in that stat. So just definitely know your uh, your cards statistics, and that's probably the easiest way to put the least amount of effort into war. Now war is it's a double-edged sword because war is really fast; it's over really quickly, but you only get 40 points for winning, around 40. And uh, the other two give you significantly more, but they take significantly longer. Um, so war. If you only have like a couple minutes to play and you don't want to like put it into um, PvP or not PvP, <laughs> you don't want to put it into Elimination Chamber or Royal Rumble, War is your way to go. Um, it's a, uh, it's pretty quick. It's pretty fun. I, I like the game mode, and um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say on it. But so right here, as I was saying earlier, you kind of know your deck. I also know that my manager is Maurice, and Maurice is managing like power is that she gives you a bunch of charisma so all of my cards have fat charisma stats and i'm going to use this noir card which is jey uso and has a really high charisma stat normally this card should not be a crucible card in any stat because that card is so much stronger but since i put so much power into his charisma and this is a charisma match i win and it's it's pretty easy. It's a it's a little cognitive at first, just because you're like paying attention to like, oh yeah, yeah, I guess this card does have stronger blah 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 than this. But once you know your cards, it's really easy and it's actually pretty fun. Um, so right here, my strongest is 529. It's the last match. I'm just gonna throw Brooks Jensen out there, no reason not to. And we're gonna go ahead and apply a stat booster that applies, uh, which is my uh, toughness and speed noir undisputed WWE Universal Championship. And Brooks Jensen is going to defeat this Ken Shamrock card with ease. Um, so 3-0, pretty easy victory, no real issues, didn't really have to think too, too hard. Um, and every perfect game that you get, you do get a extra pick, I believe. As well, if you're running uh, King of the Rings and you win war matches, you get a free energy card at the end of the game that does not count as a pick. It's just straight, here you go, here's some energy. So keep that in mind, if you're playing King of the Ring, war is probably the thing you're going to want to play the most, because it's really fast, and you get energy. Uh, whereas, if even if you win in Elimination Chamber and Royal Rumble, you don't get anything. <laughs> uh, you just get a bunch of picks. Now, let's go to Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble is very different from War. You can see right here that I have my kind of like grinding uh, deck in. Uh, pause. And uh, you want to... The way that I do the Royal Rumble is I always look for cards that are combinable. So right now, the, only the strongest cards that I have that are combinable are de uh, Detentions. I almost said Detroit. That would have been weird. Um, detention cards. So I'm going to go ahead and throw them in because... Why not? Uh, the way that... The reason that I do this is I'm grinding two different things at once. I'm grinding PvP points as well as... Um, games matches on these cards because you need to max all of your matches you need to get 100 matches played on a card before you can perfect pro them which makes them the strongest version of themselves um so i'm just gonna go ahead and give this guy some juice and then uh we're gonna throw it throw them in there and the most efficient way to do this in terms of getting matches played is just having two um but if you want to make sure you win pretty much every single time if not every single time you definitely want to have at least four uh, because it is possible that if you only have two, you don't draw <laughs> either of the two for most of the game, and that's a bummer. You're just sitting there watching your cards get decimated. 
Um, now, the Royal Rumble matchmaking is the same as the um, War matchmaking. You get car, you get matched up with a person. It's a computer, which is completely mirroring your deck. Uh, when the computer completely mirrors your deck, it's going to see, oh, okay, they have four detention cards, so it's going to throw out four detention level cards, as well as all of these terrible cards down here. It'll throw those out as well. And uh, it's basically just a matter of drawing your strong cards and then letting them throw everybody out, because you need to get as many wins in this as possible, and if you have all of your strong cards that are the same level, you're going to get like three or four points in this and you'll see right now what i mean by points so this is match one right now it's a random stat it doesn't matter because i don't have any of my strong guys but i do know that i have one of my strong guys this seth rollins detention card coming in soon um so we can go ahead and throw this card in doesn't matter uh the, if i lose this if i win this it really doesn't matter at all it's actually more beneficial if i lose because now i don't have to wait to get this seth rollins in we can just throw him flat in there my computer is dying let me throw this on the charger real quick um, so yes, this is a charisma match. Doesn't need, doesn't matter whatsoever. Seth Rollins is so much stronger. Bro, please. Okay, technical difficulties have been dealt with the uh, power cord. I could not get the power cord in there. So, as you can see right now, Seth Rollins is just kind of cleaning house. Until they throw out a card that's actually uh, of his level, he's not going to have any problems whatsoever. doesn't matter what the match type is. It doesn't matter who the card is, because all the cards that they're throwing out right now are the cards that match these. And so that's why you want to keep the number of strong cards in your deck low, but not too low that you don't draw them. So, uh, we're just going to kind of mow through this. We're going to see how how far this card makes it because i do have the other three and uh, like i said you, we are stacking points right now because after your card throws a card out um it starts developing points and when it develops points um the the rewards at the end of the game is based on how many points you get so if you get uh 11 eliminations right if you get 11 eliminations it's going to give you 110 uh points for pvp like ranked pvp points momentum points whatever you want to call them it gives you a bunch of those. That was a detention card. Uh, now our speed stat's kind of busted because uh, that card is very strong. So we're going to kind of just, if we can, stay away from any speed matches. If not, doesn't really matter because we can just replace them with a Razor Ramon detention. Um, and yeah, we are straight chilling right now. They're not really throwing anything at us. Soon they'll throw a detention level card in, or in war, that will eliminate him. That's not a problem. Uh, Razor, we have two Razor Ramones waiting in the wings. Um, it doesn't really, you don't really need to pay attention to their stats because even if they eliminate you, you got another one. Doesn't matter. Uh, and so, Charisma, if we lose this, we still have one more card. If we win this, fantastic. We do lose, whatever. It's a, it's a Noir card. Sometimes they do that. They throw a little uh, curveball at you. So, if that was toughness, we would have been in the pickle. But it wasn't. It's power. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and clear the ring. And we're so far ahead at this point that it doesn't matter even if we lose the rest of the rounds. But we're going to try to not lose the rest of the rounds because, like I said, the more points you get, uh, the more um, PvP reward points you receive as a result of your victory. No, we don't want to activate our super move. No, thank you. Uh, we can go ahead and throw the hurricane in there now. Yeah, it's pretty simple. I definitely love using this method because it gives you a ton of reward points uh, for getting so many matches you get a it's you're just killing two birds with one stone it's awesome so yes 115 for 11 wins boom you also get 11 super coins also pretty cool and then now you saw i just momentumed up oh, we're not going to do picks right now because that's boring as hell um so my reward for that is i have leveled up on the momentum meter so now i'm working towards the fifth and this is my reward once this league ends in three days and 21 hours i'm gonna have four momentum slots instead of the three i currently have as well as this pvp silver league pack and you get some forging crystals and it's fine uh now you could also do the women's if you want to work on some uh women's cards to get matches for them or you can do the elimination chamber and just for kicks we're going to do the women's elimination chamber because there's absolutely no difference and i need to work on some women's cards so why not um, the most important thing with the Elimination Chamber is to uh, keep in mind your strongest cards are going to get weakened and weakened and weakened throughout the match. Um, so it's a 6 on 6, pretty standard, uh, 
power and speed is going to be our first matchup here, and you have one card that's playable that is face up, which you're going to know their stats, and you're going to have another that is face down. Uh, you're going to know who all of the cards are by like the end of the first round, so uh, it doesn't really matter who you choose. Uh, we can choose the face down card just to show. It's uh, one of my weaker cards. In this deck, my weaker cards are detentions, so if I lose these matches, it's okay with my detentions. I don't anticipate them surviving until the end anyway. They're kind of just here to weaken my opponents, and the way that I the way that I have this deck organized is um, with noir cards on top, stronger noir cards, and then weaker detentions that can weaken my opponents, but they're not so weak that throwing them out there does absolutely nothing. So I would not recommend doing the Royal Rumble like kind of strategy in this one, um, because it's it's going to burn you a little more. It's going to hurt you. Because it's just a matter of who draws the better cards if you do that. Uh, so as you can see right here, these detentions are losing, but they're also eating up the games that have three stat fights. So this one right here is two. The previous was three. That's why I picked that card, because you want your stronger cards to only be doing two or one, if they do come up, uh, stat fights, because if you have three different stats weakened, they're likely going to lose their next match. So we can go ahead and throw this card out there in hopes that it's a better card. It's not. It's another one of these kind of weak uh, detention cards, but it was her two strongest stats, Roxanne Perez. So she went ahead and got a win. Uh, which is awesome. We want we want as many of those as possible from our weak cards, but if they don't, it's okay. Uh, now, we're going to have another Power, Speed, and Charisma, so we're going to use our Detention card. We're going to stay away from using our Strong card. Use your weakest cards for the three uh, attribute battles, because your, your weakest cards losing those stats doesn't matter. Your strongest cards losing those stats mean they can't win at the end when it really, really matters. Um, so right here, what we can do is we can click this card, which is going to be a Noir, because I think we have two Noirs in this hand. Um, we can do that, or we can sacrifice this Roxanne Perez and then hope for the best. I think that's what we're going to do. I don't want to burn Rhea Ripley's, all of her stats, uh, so we're going to just weaken this Roxanne Perez card, and I was going to say, I got confused, because it's the same card, same art, same everything, and I was like, wait a minute, did we win? No. Okay, cool. So now we can finally use this, uh, strong Sonya Deville card, because it's a two matchup, it's a two statistic matchup, and it's not going to hurt us too, too much. Um, that's, that's kind of the, the name of the game here, is just keeping your strong cards as strong as possible for as long as possible, because they're gonna have to run a gauntlet at some point. Uh, toughness and Charisma, what we can do is we can click this card and hope that it's Rhea, uh, because her Toughness and Charisma are fresh, and I think it should be, okay, it's not Sonya, that's unfortunate. Uh, but we do win, because it's a weakened, uh, Roxanne Perez card, and this card wouldn't be weakened if it wasn't for our previous, what the hell? Did I accidentally super move? I don't know, that was weird. I've never seen that before. That was strange. Uh, it was already weakened because we had used our detention cards to weaken it. And now we have this really strong Rhea Ripley card, which I'm actually just going to hold on to. Uh, I don't want to burn her yet. We can go ahead and throw her out there. That's fine. Now she serves as a uh, just a weaker version of herself, so she's just going to weaken this Crucible Lita card, and then we should have Rhea Ripley able to uh, clean everything up. We, if we get a positive matchup, Yes, like power, speed, uh, we can go ahead and throw Rhea out now, and those are also uh, Alexa Bliss's best attributes. Uh, we, I don't know if we win this, actually. I hope we do. Otherwise, it would be really unfortunate. Okay, yeah, we do. <laughs> uh, cool, cool, cool. So we have two versus one, and we held on to our support card for the end of the match. So super, super guaranteed to win, and we're in our strongest. So even if she reverses it, we should be okay, because we have... Uh, our Alexa Bliss detention card waiting in the wings, but as you can see, we ended up winning two to nothing, and it does take some cognition. <laughs> you can't just kind of like absentmindedly play this one as much as you can play the Royal Rumble, so that is one of its downfalls, one of its pitfalls. Uh, but it is it is a very fun game mode. It's actually my favorite of the three. Um, in terms of enjoyment and like, oh, this is actually kind of fun for this game, which is you know a little rare because this game's just grindy and the the fun part of this game is collecting cards. It's one of the few game modes that I actually enjoy playing uh, the game mode itself. And so yeah, this is my deck right here. So I have the four strong war cards and then the six weak uh, detention cards. And uh, you get six cards in your hand. These stay the same. These this stays the same. It gets applied at the beginning. And it is possible that you draw all six of your detentions or whatever your weaker card is. So you can do five and five to guarantee yourself that you get a, a higher leveled card. Um, it's it's really up to you. Try it out. See what you like. Uh, but yeah, that is the PvP kind of system. All three game modes broken down. Uh, the best way to win all three games and the best way to level up is just get to five and hover at five. You don't really want to 
be playing so much to the point that you're like 15,000 in the Silver League, because if you're at 15,000 in the Silver League, when the Gold League comes around, even if you survive and make it into the Platinum League, you start getting burned out. Unless you're like one of these crazy people that just plays this game nonstop all day, every day, and it's just like a part of your brain. Uh, I can't do that. I will get burned out, so I have to kind of chill. Um, but I'll try to nick this little uh, fifth spot right here so I can go up to gold. And the reason you'd like to go up to gold, we've already discussed it, but you do get better rewards the higher you are. Uh, it's weak, the lowest points in gold are like the middle points in silver. So yeah, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoy. That is PvP broken down in a nutshell, all the different game modes. I would say in terms of fun, it would be uh, Elimination Chamber, War, and then the Royal Rumble, just because the Royal Rumble is so arduous. Uh, and it's just so long, but they all have their benefits, they all have their, their little downfalls. Uh, War is very, very short, but it gives you pretty much no momentum. Uh, Royal Rumble is very long, gives you a lot of momentum, gives you a lot of opportunities to stack your uh, ability to, your, not your ability to, it gives you a lot of opportunity to stack your matches for cards that you want to get proed, and then Elimination Chamber is a lot of fun, but it takes a lot of brain meats, so be aware of that. Alright my dudes, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later, huh?